When you think of welding, you often think of big things like ships and bridges, but actually it's equally useful on a tiny scale. Uh, and I love it for the small things that I make. I just think of my big welder as a sort of glue gun for metal. And I think it's a good way of thinking about it, um, not to be intimidated by it. Um, you know, you don't always have to dress up in masses of uh, protective gear. I mean, it's a good thing to do when you start, but you gradually realise, you know, what you can, what, what you actually need. Um, this is my welder, the one I use most, at least. Uh, it's a MIG welder, it's the most common and versatile sort of welder. Um, if I take the cover off, you can see inside there's a coil of wire here. Um, switch it on. Uh, you power rollers in here, and when I pull the trigger, uh, the rollers push the wire um, through the hose and through the torch. So um, then there's also a second um, wire that comes out of the well, where this is the earth that you tap. And uh, when the wire touches the metal, um, it completes the circuit. Uh, it's high current, it's about um, 180 amps, um, about 50 volts. And so it's almost a bit like uh, melting a fuse when, when they touch. Well, uh, if, if the torch is close to the metal, it sort of focuses the heat and it gets hot enough so it will melt the steel itself. So it's steel wire and steel. And they all completely fuse together and all become one, and that's the weld. The only thing is that the, the temperature is so high that the oxygen in the air would um, oxidise the metal and make it weak. Uh, so it has to be shielded by an inert gas. That's what the cylinder on the back, it's carbon dioxide is what I use. Um, the gas, the carbon dioxide, comes out all around the wire uh, to stop oxygen getting anywhere near it. So I use it for tacking um, a prototype sphere. Um, so, and it, and it is really, really quick. In fact, I've got an extra table, so I can just clamp the earth clamp to there. Um, uh -huh. And I often don't fully clamp things up, I just get them so they look roughly right. I think that's probably about it. And then I get the welder. Um, so each of these tacks takes less than a second. And when you make the first tack, you can just eye it up. I could put a square on it just to see whether it's, it's just out of fraction actually. So that, then you can make it a bit stronger by putting on another tack. And really you can adjust the strength uh, how many tacks you put on. But even that, just those two little tacks, um, I should probably be able to take my weight, I should think. It's tried out. <coughs> Slightly nervous. Yes! Good. Proves the point. But if I got it in the wrong place, um, I can equally quickly uh, grind it off. And start all over again. Um, if it turns out to be the right place uh, later on, um, I can go along the lines of well um, and make them continue this into something really strong. Anyway, this sort of rather messy welding isn't hard to do. Um, 
So I decided to take my welder to Brighton Makers Fair and try giving people five minute welding lessons. Well, I was ably assisted by Mike and had a lot of support from Brighton Hackspace uh, and it was very popular. People actually queued for up to half an hour to have a go. That's the trigger. You can go forwards or backwards, it doesn't matter. Get a little bit closer in, you're a bit, a bit far away there. What you're trying to do is get that cloud of gas surrounding the world. So if you're too far away, the gas is blowing and not doing its job. Um, so you can imagine, you just want to stay nice and close to the metal. So you can imagine that gas coming out surrounding it. And also, if you know a little bit with it, Yeah. At the moment they're doing this, yeah. they're not really steady yeah. enough. Okay. Put their hand up here, get them close to the work, and then do it. Okay. Because the gloves are protected. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 See what I mean? Yeah. So you're getting, you're starting to feel it in there. Right. Okay, then go back to there and then be careful about touching it because yeah. you're getting it hot. So um, you might want to rest. Let's put another glove here. There you go. So do a nice slow breathing. Don't worry on that. Yeah. 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 Well, I've gone right through. You've gone right through, that's okay. And you're coming off target oh, yeah. as well. So if you, can, if you can see where you're trying to join to, and sort of concentrate on joining... I would encourage anybody else to uh, try running a welding workshop. If you want to know exactly how we did it, um, there are details on my website.